my show. That's why I like doing shows like this, because I do some terrible shows. I'm telling you, I've done this one show. I've got to tell you this story. It's the worst show ever. Don't watch it. I ain't going to say the name of the show. I'll tell you the premise of the show. Basically, I go around the world, right? I talk to Nazis. <laughs> then I act surprised they don't like me. That's the show. <laughs> so I did this show, right? And in the first episode, I went to America. And can I just say, American racism... The best racism in the world, guys. I'm being honest. With you. I'm a race connoisseur, and it is the best racism in the world. It's such good racism. I came back to England and was like, "This is shit." <laughs> we used to be the best at racism. What happened? What happened? We used to be the best, and then America just came, took it away. What's the most racist thing we done recently? What Brexit? Oh, oh yeah, we want immigrants to leave in two to five years. <laughs> Unless they're qualified, then maybe they can stay. Oh, that's <laughs> that's an America, right? And in this episode, I went to a Ku Klux Klan bar. More fun than you think. It just is. I want to... <laughs> you know, they give you a beer and you go, ah, you're all right. Anyway. <laughs> but this is a show, right? And I get a phone call from the channel, right? And the channel call me up. And they go, Jamali! I go, what's up? They said, you need to lock down your Facebook page. I say, why I got to lock down my Facebook page? They said, you just did a TV show where you took the piss out of Nazis for an hour. You're gonna get some death threats. I'm like, me, I'm a nice guy. I shan't get any death threats. Right? Show came out at nine o'clock, and about 9.03, <laughs> got my first death threat, right? And what they said to me, they said, Jamali, whatever you do, do not reply to those death threats. Well, little did they know I was doing Live with the Apollo, so I replied to everything goddamn one. <laughs> This is a conversation I had with a neo-Nazi called Clyde, right? <laughs> and what I love most about this story is that he liked my Facebook page. That's what I love most about this story. I hate you. Like. <laughs> Tell me when you're in town. All right, this is the first message he sends me. Right? This is the first message, right? He goes, bro, do you know you've put a target on your back, right? You stupid, bro. Best of luck. Which is a weird way to end a threat. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, but have some fun with it, please. <laughs> so I messaged him back saying, hey, babe. <laughs> nice to hear from you. Coming to the state soon, fancy a dinner date, right? Then he goes, what race are you? Probably a sand nigger. <laughs> I was horrified. I was like, no, land nigger. <laughs> We're a different type. We've got longer legs. We're quicker, yeah? It's more, more agile. <laughs> then, he, <laughs> then he goes, bro, I promise. If I ever see you in my state again, I'm putting your punk ass under. Right? Now he's gone, ooh, what state? I've booked a trip, right? <laughs> then he's gone, Alabama. And I've gone, man, you ain't gonna believe this, right? Then he's just put in capital letters, what? <laughs> what could it be? And I go, listen, I fly to LA and I stop over in Alabama. What's up? Is that cool? Can I stay at yours? Now look. <laughs> Stupid, right? But I don't know the situation. He might have an Airbnb going on, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and when I travel, I live like a local. <laughs> then he surprisingly goes, no! <laughs> you can't stay at mine. Ooh, how mean is that? You can't stay at mine. <laughs> but if you do come, I'll allow it. But only if you don't leave the airport. And I said, bloody hell, Nazi, you're being reasonable. <laughs> but I said, what happens if I come and my plane gets delayed even longer, and I need to stay a couple nights. What's up? Is that cool? Can I stay at your mum's? Now look. <laughs> Again, that's, yeah, that's a stupid question, but I don't know the situation. She might not be a Nazi. She might have an Airbnb situation. <laughs> but he goes, no! You can't stay at my mum's. That hurt. You can't stay at my mum's. But if you do come, I'll allow it but only if you stay in an airport hotel. And I said, bloody hell, Nazi, you're giving me solutions. <laughs> but I said, what happens if I come and my plane gets delayed even longer and I lose my passport? You know they won't let me on the plane without my passport because the Jews run the planes, right? <laughs> then he goes, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. You know it, Jamali. <laughs> I can't live in the airport like that weird Tom Hanks movie. Help, help, help me out. Help, help, help me out. Help, help, help me out. Let me stay at yours. And he goes, for fuck's sake, okay, just come. <laughs> okay,